Just affect the rapping like the cycling gift wrap. Presently exchanging jewels like conflict. Now I miss for training. That means I read the news not only for entertainment. Skip had to What's going on, everybody? It's your man Odyssey, producer MC, Diamond District. You know what I'm saying? Representing Largo, Prince George's County, Maryland. DMV all day, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I guess my, my musical journey started by what I am. I'm a producer MC. Started rhyming first, and then I got onto the beats. Got heard by Cats Around the Way, my man Sean Bourne, who uh, made beats. He was uh, a little older than me. And then he took me to the crib and was like, yo, I want to play some of my tracks. And that's when I became like fascinated with how to make beats. I, I asked him to teach me how to make beats. And then I never looked back from there. I get asked often if there's one that I like more than the other. And to be honest, nah, it's 50 50 for me. You know, like when I make a dope beat, it makes me want to write a good rhyme. When I write a good rhyme, it makes me want to make a dope beat. So they play off of each other. You know, when I'm blocked from being able to do one, I go and do the other. So it's a relationship that they serve. It's a 50 50 marriage between the two of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Started all selling beats to the trap niggas, making drug money, and I ain't never touched crap, nigga. Had the bank sellers looking like strippers, counting 505, so yeah, I had the tipper. And my mother like a man, who these niggas that you got up in my basement, you know we on section 8, man. Look, mama, don't worry about their whereabouts, just know that they the reason we a shop was full warehouse. Made bars with niggas you wouldn't know, cause we both love music and we both love dough. The supplier of the five to the niggas that decide to retire from the streets cause they rather flow. Yeah, and I still cook a beat up for my niggas on the rear, but I had to push the fee up. They like, you need a hit, gotta go to O and when my base hit the strip, I be like, I told you so. Yeah. If, if I have any status at all in D.C. as a leader, which, you know, I, I guess I would definitely say I'm part of the movement that uh, to progress, you know, D.C. Metro hip hop. You know, I'm fortunate enough to have been had my my hopes and dreams destroyed numerous times to know when to believe in something and when not to, to know when to get my hopes up and when not to. So when the younger cats and the cats who newer coming up under me call me up and they're like, oh, you won't believe what happened. Such and such just hit me up. I can tell them straight if he didn't say this or she didn't say that, then don't get your hopes up. Or this usually means this has been my experience. So I'm I'm fortunate. I guess I'm in a position of leadership in the DMV because I've experienced a lot of the things that a lot of the guys coming up will experience. So I can talk to them about it. You know what I mean? Great thing that I see about DC is even though we have no industry, artists are getting way more savvy at home. It was a time where it was only a few cats like myself and Kev and others who was touring Europe and, you know, putting out 12 inches and getting record deals without being on a major label. No one even knew that was possible. Probably five years ago, there were people in D.C. who their main goal was to do a demo and get signed by a major. Now, how late is that? But the reality sat in real quick now and people are really, they're catching up with this indie hustle on how you got to do it yourself to get recognized these days. So I see uh, even more amazing artists coming out of the DMV, you know what I mean? And I, and I hope, I hope to see more, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to let the world know me. Stack G's yet, be low key. Get paper with my brothers like the majors, but we so free. So we sign like we don't speak. I'm a rhyme like. I'm trying to save the earth within the time I'm spending on it. The way my career is going, I might get to spend it on it. Depending on if my minutes longer than 15, I might say a verse and then end the song on a big screen.
the fundamental thing I strive for in my rhymes, you know, when I'm writing and when I'm recording is to write in layers. And I, I stress the importance of that. Writing in layers is essential so that you can reach as many people as possible without turning a lot of people off. Um, it clicked to me one day about how important writing in layers is when I realized I've grown up watching The Simpsons from a child into a teenager into an adult. And you can watch the same Simpsons episode at different points in your life and it's a completely different level of humor. There's a level of physical comedy and obvious comedy for children. There's some pop references of things that are going on now for young adults. And then there's things in politics or things in the past that are for adults. And each you know, step in your life, you can watch it and you'll get a completely different view on it. There's jokes that you just didn't know as a kid if you go back and watch The Simpsons because they were very, very adult and they go over your head. And when you go back and watch it, you didn't realize how adult it was. So I realized I wanted to do that with my rhymes. I wanted to write in layers so that if you're not some diehard hip hop head who deciphers lyrics as an activity, that's not gonna take away from you enjoying my music. You're still gonna appreciate it. If you're a person that's really looking for technicality in rhymes, I want you to also appreciate what I have to do as well. And if you're a person that just likes to hear people flow, you don't really pay attention to lyrics and it's more about the beat, I'm, I gotta pick a cadence that just rides the beat so I don't take away from you just listening to the music. And then most importantly, um, making music that people can move to and think to. Practically handing me the ass And I could care less Because she lacked class The fitting of a dress would have had me at 21 It's funny son Just a few years older More revealing, less appealing And I'm more into shoulders And other subtleties I'm in the house more Thus I'm out less I'm less concerned with rocking fits That ain't out yet I'm still about fresh But not my tennis shoes More about my fruit and veg I decorate my crib My home is couchless That ain't the way I live at least lately, the life of a bachelor seemed crazy. I went from cold pizza with old FIFA to seeing gold scored in person at low bleachers. So lazy, the youth in me, I used to be. I used to like a one night stand. Now I'm all up in her house like there ain't one nice land. And I'm not sure why, but um, things seem different now, you know? And I'm not sure why. But, um, seem different now, you know? I feel I don't want to say what separates me from other people but what I'm conscious of because we're all equal but what I'm what I'm conscious of in life is that few things in this world truly really matter the importance we place on most of the things in our life is a social pressure that we put on that really is insignificant and when you realize that like your levels of stress just just drop tremendously for better and for worse I'm not gonna say that um, it's always the best thing for me but I have a really high level of indifference I'm indifferent to a lot of things that matter to most people uh, people's opinions um, where they think I'm supposed to be at in my life according to uh, status quo and age, um, money, materialistic things, um, who I hang out with and who I associate with. I, it, it just, I don't care what other people think. Living like that and embracing that as, as my lifestyle has really freed me up to make the music I want to make. You know, one of my biggest adversaries early on in my career was my own peers telling me not to make music that sounded a specific way. You know, they wanted me to make music that sounded like the music they were making. 
And, you know, I got ridiculed a lot by my own peers. But it just gets to a point where you're like, yo, I don't really care. I'm going to make this. I'm going to dress this way. I'm going to eat here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this kind of music. I'm going to release these type of records. And the people that like it will seek it out and they'll find it. And so far, it's worked, you know. So far, it's worked. But I think when you start to really, when you pay attention to other people, it's just such a distraction. And it's a really hard burden to carry around for any human being to really pay attention to what other people think as much as most people do. You know, like you got your own conscience to bother you about things, let alone you worried about what other people think about you. That's just way too much for any person. You know what I mean? I think with, you know, the state of our economy and the way that it's going, in my opinion, what people need to prepare for in, o- in order to be able to survive in it and live with it is being okay with less. That's something that's really, really important that, you know, rappers aren't really telling us, you know, if you hear it from them. But we really need to be okay with less. Our expectations need to come down a bit. You know, you need to come back down to reality. Um, You know, the amount of records we sell that gets us excited on Mellow Music this year is different than the amount of records that would get a label excited back in 2001, you know? And we've adjusted to to such. You know, consolidating and being okay with less is definitely going to be one of the keys to surviving in the future. I guess it's about what you value, but for me, time is the thing I value the most. What I do with my time, and I want to be able to do with my time what I please. And the more time you spend working, the less time you have to yourself. So what are the steps that you can take to have more time? That's the only thing I'm truly concerned about is still maintaining the the ability to have my time. That may be having roommates. That may be giving up a car you know i cycle i ride a bike everywhere you know what i mean um that may be grocery shopping more instead of eating out you know who who knows what it could mean to different people but to me being okay with less consolidating and making sure that i maintain the ability to do what i what i want with my time is the most important thing all in the race for something all for the sake of nothing Ooh, we are Never mattered much to me Never mattered much to me Oh yeah Ain't from the gutter but I clean them to get the money Ain't f*** my honey till I have money I don't love them, I'm PG so my life like a bad movie It's probably cause of where I'm from that I'm a tad bougie Ain't never ever had a cater to no hood I